Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory, glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. You're welcome to Healing Globe, July 18th, year 2021. This is our year of great harvest, and it has been amazing. And this is the beginning of a new week that God has graciously brought us into. Let us bless the name of the Lord. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We bless your holy name. Oh, a song is rising in my heart and it is in my dialect. And it simply means um, we know that we are the ones who ought to praise God. We know that um, we know ourselves as in we recognize that we are the ones that need to give thanks to God because he has never put us to shame and he will never put us to shame. Can I sing that song in my dialect? All right. Awa tope tosi amorawa. Awa tope tosi amorawa. Awa tam for joju mori ore ofe. Awa tam figba go gori anuba. Awa toju otiri toju osini ti lae lae. Awa tope tosi amorawa. Hallelujah. Oh, we thank you, Lord. We give you praise. Of your mercies we have enjoyed and we are still enjoying. We give you praise, oh God. Thank you for this brand new week. Thank you for all the daily loads of benefits. Thank you for the healings and the deliverances, for the opening of eyes, the opening of hearts, the opening of doors and gates to nations. Thank you, Lord, for meeting every need in the house. We give you praise, O oh God, in Jesus' precious name, amen and amen. This is Healing Glow. It's the place of healing. If you need healing in your body, the healing virtue of God is flowing here all of the time. And as I teach, the power of God is present to heal. And so you see your things happening, you receive your healings and, you know, God doing marvelous things in our midst. And if you are healthy, this is the place to be every single day. Just take in the word of God. It is medicine to your flesh. It is health to your flesh. Hallelujah. Because the Lord, the Lord wishes above all things that you prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers. In this place, we are prosperous, we are healthy, and we have sound minds. Hallelujah. And today I bring you the word of God from the book of James chapter 5 and verse 15. And I will first read from the King James Version of the Bible, which reads, And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. This is talking about where the Lord says, if it's anyone sick among you, let them call for the elders of the church and they will pray, you know, anointing with oil and pray over him. And Bible says, the prayer of faith shall save the sick. Let me, let me read um, two more translations. Um, the message says, um, verse 15, where is it now? Okay, the, the, in the message translation, it says, Believing prayer will heal you. Believing hyphen prayer will heal you. And Jesus will put on you, and Jesus will put you on your feet. And if you have sinned, you'll be forgiven, healed inside and out. Believing prayer, B E L I E V I N G, hyphen prayer. Believing prayer will heal you. And then the amplified. Bible classic edition says, and the prayer that is of faith will save him who is sick. The Lord will have me bring to your attention today that you have to pray the prayer of faith so that you can have results. Whether it is in your health, it's in your business, it is in your marriage, it's over your children, it's you know, concerning your finances, whatever it is, it is the prayer of faith that 
saves. Hallelujah. It is the prayer of faith that delivers. Hallelujah. Many people pray out of fear. Many people pray faithless prayers. That is why the Bible says we can pray. One can actually pray and pray amiss. That is why you need to know the word of God. I, I mean, how do you even pray? And be sure you are praying right. If you're not praying the Bible, if you're not praying the word of God, if you're not praying the scriptures, this is the confidence we have in him. First John 5, 14. This is the confidence we have in him that when we pray according to his will, he hears us. So we have to pray his word. See, there is nothing that you need that God needs to start rushing you to prepare it. It's already done. He has given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness. But you know what? Many people still perish because of their ignorance. Many people still pray amiss. Many people still pray prayer of faithlessness, prayer of fear. Some think they are, some claim to be praying, but all they are doing there is, is that they are giving expression to their frustration. Many people are still perishing for lack of knowledge. The prayer of faith, the prayer that is based on faith, on what you believe of God, of the report of the Lord that you believe. That prayer is the one that saves. So we say that we pray, but are we praying right? Are you still saying, Lord, won't you help me? Oh no, Ma, could you see me? Don't let me be put to shame. Eh? Won't you take this thing away? Yes, we can express ourselves to our Father, yes. When it comes to the, you want results, pray the prayer of faith. Pray according to the word of God. And you know what? God said I must mention this, so I will. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for reminding me again. Many people will say, oh, I'm fighting. And they say they are fighting cancer. They say they are fighting um, maybe COVID-19. Or they are fighting one affliction or the other, one disease or the other. You don't fight diseases. That is not what God has asked you to do. Do you think you can fight the devil? Do you think you have what it takes to confront the devil? No. Jesus already did it for you. So the fight you fight is the fight of faith. See, no matter what you are going through, no matter how difficult that situation is, if your faith in God your faith in the word of God is in place. You have not lost that battle. It does not matter how bad it looks. That is why Jesus prayed for Peter that his faith will not fail. The devil had concluded plans to deal with Peter. But Jesus knew that as long as his faith was in place, he had the final say. I'm telling you, the devil does not have the final say. You don't have what it takes to control, to confront the devil, but Jesus already did on your behalf. And that is why you have to pray the prayer of faith. By stripes, you were healed. Hallelujah. Jesus took your infirmity. He already took it. So you have to pray the prayer of faith. And you know what? It always works. Hallelujah. For everyone under the sound of my voice that needs something done, whether it is in your body or it is you know, in your finances, in your business, in your career, concerning anything that has to do with you, which of which you are bothered or burdened. I pray with you right now. I pray over you the prayer of faith that that which Jesus has made available, that you enter into it with ease and begin to enjoy those benefits. In the name of the Lord Jesus, receive that healing now. In the name of Jesus, receive that open doors now. In the name of Jesus, receive strength in your mortal body right now. In the name of Jesus, receive the peace of God in your mind right now. In the name of Jesus, arise. 
shine for your light is come and the glory of the Lord is already risen upon you. Hallelujah. Give God praise and bless his holy name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father, for a beautiful week. Thank you, everlasting God, for answers to prayers this week. This week is delivering answers into your hands. In Jesus' precious name, amen and amen. I'll see you again tomorrow in the healing glow. Blessings.